today we are going to take a look at the constituents of now suppose we have a colloid in some container and let us take the example of say water and some fine particles of soil or dirt in it now if the particles of soil or dirt are very large then this will not become a colloid it will become a suspension because if the particles are large enough then they will settle down at the bottom and we will have a suspension but if the particles are very small then they will continue to float and then this will be a colloid and not a suspension so let us take this example now these small particles of soil that are suspended in this colloid which may resemble something like a solute in a solution so we can say that particles that are suspended in a colloid much similar to solutes in a solution now these are not solutes although you should keep that in mind they are much similar to solutes in a solution these particles are called dispersed phase and the solvent like thing in which the dispersed phase is suspended much similar to the solvent of solutions so the solvent like substance in which the dispersed phase is dissolved is known as dispersing medium so in this case the particles of soil that are suspended they are the dispersed phase and water is the dispersing medium now depending upon the type of dispersed phase or the type of dispersing medium that is the state of dispersed phase or state of dispersing medium whether they are solids liquids or gases colloids are categorized into several groups now we can take a look at some of such groups this table is there in your book and we can just take a look at this table here you can see that when the dispersed phase is a liquid and the dispersing medium is a gas the type of colloid is called aerosol so fog clouds mist these belong to such a category now you must have seen what is a what is cloud what are clouds clouds are small droplets of water they are small droplets suspended in the air so that is what is called a cloud and these come together and gradually when these particles join with each other they become heavy and when they become heavy it is not possible for the air to hold them up and they come down in the form of rain so liquid suspended in gas is called aerosol and examples are fog clouds and now if solid is suspended in gas like smoke you must have seen smoke in smoke this kind you will see but actually these are very small particles of dust or some other kinds of solid now these small particles of dust or other kinds of solid are suspended in air and this is an example of solid in gas type or aerosol type colloid similarly we have gas in liquid type that is shaving cream liquid in liquid type emulsion common example is milk solid in liquid type which we can call soap mud the example that we have taken over here is also of a colloid that is a solid in liquid type colloid it is called soap gas in solid type 
it is called foam examples these are the examples liquid and solid type is called gel you are quite familiar with gel examples are jelly cheese and butter solid and solid type is called solid sole and these are some examples of such kind of colloids so we have now seen the constituents of colloids and we shall take a quick break and come back in our next video to look at other properties of such mixtures thank you